this is a home six years later after Katrina. Going into the um, sixth anniversary of Katrina. And as you see, it's a home that's not been completed. It still desires quite a bit okay. of work in this home. I got some baseballs that's put down in different places. Oh, okay. and the air conditioning system. And this air conditioning system is another thing. That's the, that's the breathing part for the stuff in the air and the, the air conditioning on the outside. Look like that's on the outside. Okay, but you got your air conditioning. Yeah, but I you need to have it connected. Connected and show it up. Okay. I mean, um, Mr. 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 Brooks, okay. how long how long has your home been like this? Uh, since Katrina came and I went and wiped it out. Okay, and where are you and your wife located right now? Basically, my wife is uh, living in Greer with my daughter, and uh, in Greer we down. And Greer lies between home and Tiburon, which is up on Highway 9 to Okay. Uh, we stayed with my daughter. We moved, Trina brought us over to, we lived in Bayou Black for about two years, and my daughter was blessed to get a home two years later, and she's been in the house now about two years, two and a half years. Okay. And, uh, Did you home. receive any, um, any assistance? <laughs> yes, we did. Okay, and what happened, basically? Well, we, we used up the funds traveling back and forth, staying in different places, and finally we got a trailer eventually. And uh, we stayed in the had a trailer out front, stayed there every now and then, but my wife still stayed out in Greeley down to be with my, my, no more, my daughter basically helped me take care of her and vice versa, she helped me take care of the children. And, and could you give me the condition of your wife? Well, no, she basically, she, you know, she had shortness of the breast, she had the heart problem, she had arthritis, and uh, she walked from, I say from here to the front door right there, she's out of breath. Okay. So it's long distance, she don't do no long distance walking. You got to push around in a wheelchair. Okay. And where are you located right now? This uh, home is in what, what, what is the subdivision? Uh, Little Woods. Little? Little Woods. Little Woods home on uh, Okay, yeah. then. All right. Um, I needed to I ask you. So you need assistance right now to just complete your home in order for you and your family and your wife to come mm -hmm. back? Yes. And it's been like this now for almost six years. For almost six years. And basically, I just basically just got started maybe about two years or so ago, maybe you know, three years, doing a little bit at a time while putting it together. And I'm coming to the final stages of getting things done. But uh, financially, uh, when I get the fund out, I, I start getting this, this fix and that fix. And right now, the last thing I've got worked on was the uh, electrician. And they gave me the permission to be okay to get the, uh, turn it back on into my name. Okay. All right. So what is, what, what is basically, um, would you say, the condition of Little Woods? Is it, has it come back? Oh, it's coming back. And on this particular block here, you got one, two, three, four. You got four, five houses, maybe six. Not, nobody living in right now. But two of us, three of us are working on getting our houses back together. Myself and the neighbor down the street. Neighbor Jason, we across the street. Okay. We're working on house floor for sure. When we get the funds to get something done, that's what we're doing. Okay, I've had some to identify this community as a forgotten community. Uh -huh. Little Woods as a community that has been forgotten.